Welcome to the Castrol Edge Nürburgring experience. If you're wondering what that is, it's a competition that Castrol's been running for three years and winners get to come here to the legendary Nürburgring and drive cars like the M3, uh, the M5 and there's some 640Ds also. Uh, today is day one, we've got some exciting exercises lined up for us. Uh, let the fun begin. The Castrol Edge experience is all about getting two phenomenal days of driving at the Nürburgring racetrack in Germany. And to get there, it's pretty simple. Oil giant Castrol runs a global contest annually, so all you need to do is buy a can of Castrol Edge, scratch a card and send in a number. It's much like any contest run by your average detergent manufacturer. Only, instead of a shop till you drop holiday, you get a chance to push to the limits some of BMW's legendary M cars on this phenomenal racetrack. But Castrol is huge on safety and it was no different for us. Before any driving activity, every morning everyone had to take a breathalyzer test. Fail the test and you don't get to drive. Simple as that. I made sure I passed. After making sure that there was no substance abuse, it was time for the first exercise of the day, slalom course. The idea of the slalom is to drive through the cones as fast as you can without knocking them down and then come to a standstill inside the box. Right, so the slalom, it's all about being smooth, uh, balancing the car, not uh, pushing it too much, find your correct speed and being smooth like I said. Um, they were timing it, I said about the 28 second time, which I think is pretty good. The M3 is fantastic here because it's so communicative and so utterly, utterly sharp. Back in the M3 again for the second exercise of the day, the lane change maneuvers. The idea is to head into the cones at about 90 kph, chuck the car into the left or the right set of cones and the trick is to make corrective inputs and catch the car before it gets completely out of shape. This is the lane change, emergency lane change maneuver. So we're going to drive up to 60 and get to a constant speed and turn in shot. Hey, yo, hit the cone. Ready? Um, try to go. You can use the depot. Hurts the car, gets in a stable and constant speed. Um, try to go with a constant speed and then really try to swerve the car, okay? So you're the, the man I hit the cone. Go. I hit the cone. Uh, yeah. Apparently, people don't make enough steering inputs to avoid imminent accidents, and the idea here is to teach you just that. I can't help but think of how handy this lesson would be back in India. You know, all those rickshaw drivers, cyclists, all running amok. After that, we decided to take a break from the M3 and head for a few fast laps around the Nürburgring GP circuit in the new M5. By 52 twin turbocharged VHP, this car is a bomb. It really is something else. The grip is tremendous, the engine shove is phenomenal, and it's hard to believe this is actually a car you can drive on a regular road. It's so quick, my laps are almost up before I know it. Then it was time to get back in the M3 for the third exercise of the day. Fans of the Fast and the Furious will need no explanation as to what this exercise is all about. The 
Drifting is about car control and quick corrective action. The idea here is to drift for as long as possible around cones set in a circle. To do this, you have to drive at a steady speed around the circle. Then, with the traction control off, hit the throttle pedal hard. The rear wheels will spin, the tail will step out and you have to counter steer to catch the slide. Prolong the slide by modulating the throttle and working the steering so the rear tires spin hard enough not to find grip but slow enough not to spin you off. That was brilliant. Uh, end of day one, we've learnt a lot about car control, uh, drifting, um, braking, emergency lane change manoeuvres uh, and this is just day one. Tomorrow is the best part, the legendary Nordschleifer circuit. Uh, I can hardly wait. Okay, day two of the Castrol Edge Nürburgring experience. Um, it's a day I've been waiting for half my life to drive the Nordschleifer, legendary Nordschleifer. Uh, Sir Jackie Stewart once called this place the Green Hell. Uh, James May from Top Gear hates this place. So there must be something about it, yeah? Something special. Let's find out. But first, it was time to go for a hot lap with Augusto Fafus. We have done one quarter of the circuit, outside, getting to the apex, a triple apex corner, this one, you stay here, you stay, you stay and here you go on gas, fast, and this is the slowest corner of the circuit, Okay. brake hard, down to second, stay on the, on the apex, and then here, all the way to Adenau. This corner, lots of pressure during the race. Car understeers a lot. Easy to overcook it. Yeah. 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 So come here. Little lift. And back on the throttle. Important to be early. Now comes Lauda corner. Here where Lauda had a crash. This is the uh, bug. Yeah. Lauda had a crash here. It's very bumpy on outside, so we really have to try to break mid circuit. You stay outside, get into the apex. Again, crucial to be early on power. Comes a very low fast sector here. On dry, means everything is flat. Now we are coming to the funnels carousel. This carousel. Wait. Second gear. Okay. Into the carousel and here you can keep gas. Oh. Exit hard, full speed again. All the way up here. Lift a little bit. As well, here is, is flat on the drive. New asphalt, good grip here. Good grip, yeah. So you stay on the left. I can see that. Yeah. <laughs> We used to call this the first jump. We have the first jump here. It's very difficult for the ABS because the car lifts. Car, yeah, and, there's no, there's no. and the ABS doesn't work properly. Yeah. You stay on the right, goes in the left. Oh! And here's the second jump. The car really flies here. Oh. At this point here, you go power. Speed, back and now you can see our top speed going up. And 210 the traction control lights flashing yeah. here. Yeah. And you can see 240, 250, 270. And you can catch it. Yeah, we got the break. <laughs> oh, that was mad, that was mad. He's won the 24 hours of the Nürburgring, so he knows this place like the back of his hand. So, Augusto, two questions. You need to be really fit to do this 24 hours. Yeah, but unfortunately this year I cannot attend the 24 hours. Yeah. 
because there is a clash with the DTM. Yeah, yeah but, but to do this for 24 hours straight, we be really fit. The G forces. It, it, yeah, it, it, yeah, it's really intense. It's really difficult. Yeah, yeah. It's a difficult circuit. You can see different asphalt, different lines, uh, different conditions as well. So it's a big challenge. This is the ultimate challenge for uh, for a driver. Yeah. And for me, it's always a pleasure to be able to, to do a few laps and get again the feeling. My turn now. Let's see how much of Augusto's advice I can actually put to use. 21 kilometers, 72 corners, unpredictable weather. Woohoo! Playing it very safe. Playing it very safe. Oh, look at that. Look at that. Can't imagine making a mistake here at 200. There's no place to go. It just goes straight into the water. So ladies and gentlemen, another brilliant day at the Castrol Edge experience and that brings us to the end of our two days of driving. Um, it's, been, it's been fantastic actually, it's, the notch life has been everything I've dreamt of. Um, they play it safe too so there's no real danger in this whole program and that's a good thing I think. Um, hopefully next year I'll get to come back here again.